Congressman Louis Gohmert. Congressman, I saw you out there with John Roberts. Um, I was yeah. down there last week. I saw a lot. While I was there, there was a group of 10 that, that was stopped from entering illegally and another group of seven from El Salvador that got in illegally. What did you see? Well, we saw wave after wave after wave of people coming in. And at one point, uh, our border <laughs> patrolmen, I'm sure you developed a great respect for what they put up with and what they do. They just quietly keep going about doing their job. But at one point, we were driving through those uh, back roads down by the river uh, you know, miles away from hardtops, and we went for about an hour and a half down along the river before we saw a border patrolman. Uh, we did happen to see two lookouts jump off a, a cage over, you know, like 10 feet or so. I mean, lookouts up from the up. other side, from Mexico, looking out so that no, people... No, no, actually, Sean, these were on the American side, just about, you know, 30 yards from the river, but there's a, uh, there, a pump station that was covered with a big cage and they were on top of the cage they also there are a couple of tanks they like to get on top of where they can see things coming they saw my vehicle and jumped off they were shocked to see it because uh, they had just seen the border patrolman go by now but uh, but if think about it sean if you're the, the the drug cartels people are paying you to get you across the river you may pull some off into sex trafficking and human trafficking for illegal purposes, but you control when they cross, where they cross. The coyotes don't want to be caught, as, as you learn. But um, you send several different groups. You tie up our border patrolmen at the same time. You know how long it takes to go through that list of questions. It's not unusual to think that, gee, we're in the business of getting drugs into America. We have this amount of time now that we've tied them up with these folks. Louis, I mean, I it is a disaster, and we need to have the National Guard and more Border Patrol down there and stop it. I, I spoke to ICE people and Border Patrol people on my radio show today, and the issues, you have these guys, they're not even willing to go home because of all the health issues that they're facing on a daily basis. And That's right. Seven Seventy percent of them, Louis, you know, they can't do their job of, of patrolling the border because they're doing paperwork and they're helping those kids right. that are in these varying facilities. And, yeah, right. and, and Texas, you heard from this mother, 642,000 crimes that's committed right. against Texans in the last seven years. Louis Gomer. That's right. Yeah, and over 100,000 criminals. And then you've heard this administration has released uh, tens of thousands of people they knew were criminals and that means the chances are good they go out and commit crimes again that's insane they are putting more and more people at risk just as the dear mother you just heard from I mean they are there are crimes being committed that wouldn't be committed if these people were down there and you point out the border patrol you know they're tied up some of them are down there near the border but they have to bring the people to a staging area and then and then have them sent on up uh, for their temporary detention but Sean until we start sending some people home then that wave is just going to keep coming one one night it was probably about two in the morning one little boy uh, he said uh, and he was a sweet kid, and, and I'd give him a little snack. He was obviously hungry, and he's following me around, and I said to uh, one of the Fox reporters, or cameraman, uh, what's he saying to me? He's a sweet kid. He's, he was asking, are you going to stay here till everybody comes? And I said, no. He said, it will be a long time because wow. there are thousands of us waiting wow. to come. All right, Louis Gomer. We've we got to stop it. Out with Fox's own John Roberts this weekend. Louis, thank you so much for being with us for that report. Thank we appreciate it. And